So what's this video about then? This video is more about the fun bits of moving rather than the actual move of the last video, if you like. More about the nesting and the settling in, making it homey, trying to make it cosy and comfortable with a few cottagey type touches, which is a bit of a challenge in a more modern house. And some things are working out, some things are not. Kind of making it homely with love, books, teacups and fairy lights, you know, that kind of thing. The things we all like, bringing lights into the house, bringing love into the house, especially at the moment when the world has just gone really confusing, hasn't it? It really is about the little things that we can do to brighten up our day. There's also a little bit of deep cleaning, which is really therapeutic, a bit of DIY and some kind of makeover things as well. Making the place ours, but not rushing the process, letting it evolve organically so that it feels like home authentically. It's not something you can set up overnight, is it? We've also had to kind of find the balance between doing stuff and spending stuff on the house, but because it's a rental, so not wanting to go big on budget and saving up for our next place, which we hope to buy, hopefully. So there are a few disappointments and I think I went into that in the last video so I don't want to put that in this video as well because we are feeling you know really positive so happy and truly wonderful about this house it's turning into an in-between dream is there anything you want me to take a note of on video because I'm doing a little um what do you call it <laughs> yeah. I'm doing an empty apartment tour <laughs> this is polished to an inch of its life. Yeah, and then the oven, the hob, let's put the light on so we can see. Looks pretty good. And then, oh my goodness, we did this. So, have that. We've got a thing going on. So what's going on, babe? We are... We've got a problem, haven't we? Desperately trying to find. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> desperately seeking, <laughs> not seeking. Susan. Have you seen that film? Yeah. Desperately seeking a grill pan tray yeah. because we couldn't clean ours properly. Yeah, so tell me what's happening with your brain. We are pickled. The OPB. What do you want to say about the OPB? Overwhelmed. Pickled. pickled. Brain. brain. It's very pickled. Very. Anything to say about it? I am suffering badly from it. What's the cure? The, on the phone to somebody, he gave me dimensions for something and by the time the phone call had ended, I'd forgotten what the dimensions were. Comment down below if this happens to you. Yes, yes. I'm sure I'm not alone. Create a club. OPB. OPB club. Yes. OPB rules. And looking very polished for our records. All of these are clean. Dishwasher. Go ahead and do the round the bathroom bath, please. And, um... Yes, I will do. And um, these shelves are now back. That's really weird. I don't remember those at all. <laughs> and then our living room. All around the windows we did. So it's not nasty anymore. It's right there, my love. <laughs> uh, what else do you want me to record? Empty cupboard? A little cupboardy we had. Everything's off. The records. And, um, and then I'll do the bathroom. Oof. The bathroom is looking ship shape. <laughs> not me, because I'm not looking ship shape, I'll tell you. And sink. And James wants me to just do the bath. So that's the overall of the bath with the shower screen looking very nice. Very nice. And then if we just I'll check the bedrooms, no. So the bedrooms, bed, bedroom one. See, I'm right in the corner. Not very big rooms and they don't have wardrobes. So and then to the second bedroom which is even smaller and again no wardrobe but you can see i'm standing right in the corner to complete the tour are you putting stuff in the van now you hoovered the stairs didn't you mm -hmm. and nice clean windows now because james cleaned them 
and then hoovered the carpet. Let's just have a bit of light here because it's a bit dark. So this is kind of where James had his office. And then this very nice little space, which you can't really stand up in much of it because you can see it's not very wide for the standing space, but still a very nice little space with a hub, little cubby. And that's looking at it from this end. So I am happy with that. Very happy. Done a lot of cleaning, detail cleaning, because we like to try and leave a place even nicer than we find it. And this place was, yeah, not amazing when we found it. Anyway, that's it for now. So we need to go and shut that lights off and uh, bye bye little flat. Yes, little bit on the floor which I can't be doing with. So I've got a meeting this morning and oh, can't see through those because they're my, my art glasses. Extra magnified if you like. I suppose if I think about it, it's my actual first day in properly working in the studio since we moved house. You may have seen that video. I'm trying to catch my breath. I feel settled already. I mean, there's boxes and chaos everywhere. It's not, you know, <laughs> sorted yet by any means. I didn't feel like working at home amongst, you know, the boxes and stuff because I felt it would pull me away. It would distract me from the focus of my artwork, if you like. Yeah, I wanted to come in. I've got a little idea for a new fairy for my art journal. And so I'm just going to develop that now in my sketchbook and see where that leads. It's my own. That's what I'm going to do. So cheers to you. I have got a huge green juice slash smoothie. It's kind of a bit of both, a bit of juice and smoothie. A ton of kiwis because I feel like I need a big vitamin C burst. Self-care to the max and if you need a little reminder, take that as one. I will if you will because we need to do that don't we? Whatever that looks like for you. cottage chairs hopefully they're good one of them's a bit wobbly so we'll see how wobbly we don't want wobbly chairs like nobody was watching but it's so got a couple of chairs from facebook marketplace i can't i can't get them in the shop because it's too so what are you doing now babe we're going to pick up ollie tell him who ollie is ollie is uh
sendiri. Iya. Yeah. That's a well cute little table. No, it takes time to get one of these you're sitting by the sofa. Let's get comfy. Let's get my drink. I wanted to put my drink down and I couldn't. And look, check, check. Okay, like just said, like leave me alone for me to do my work now. Okay, bro. I'll carry on. See you later, yeah? Yeah, see you later. Okay. Market hall. Everything's in market hall. Do you want a trolley? Five. Five liters. It's cute. There's a big one down here, though. Oh yeah. How many liters? <laughs> I like our big pot. <laughs> oh yeah, they're snazzy, aren't they? Yeah, you come. You come and have a look at that. I guess we're on to bathrooms now. Oh no. There's that one there. You can't be able to fit for that. It's like a scale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that little girl? Um, I would talk to you right now and explain what we're doing, but there's a leaf blower out there somewhere at the back, so it's a bit noisy. So I'll come back to you later. What's happening? Cleaning up the bathroom cabinet. It's a bit grimy. We're not getting a new one. We've found a new one, haven't we? No, we haven't. Not a second-hand one that we like. No, no. And we're not prepared to buy new. Um, I've prepped the tower rail, kitchen. Okay, not ours. We're just gonna pimp it. <laughs> What were you saying, sorry? Uh, I'm going to suggest that we leave that unpainted and I'll sand it down to wood. Yeah, yeah, do so it. Then, so then that's all the wall, the wall colour and then that will be uh, natural. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh, Ooh, bird. some bird action in there. I think it's because it's getting empty. They're very hungry, these birds, aren't they? Wibbly one. Is it? That's it. Chair, boys. Holly. Letter 32. Nice, sweet. Olivetti. It's cool, isn't it? This is my, <laughs> it's my potting shed. Potting James sheds. is preparing an area for me. Love it. What's going on with my car then, Bubba? So, since you got bashed on this corner, yeah. the, the light isn't isn't sealing yeah. around your car anymore. So you get, it lets water in, which is a real shame. So you've got water in your spare wheel area and damp, oh. damp in the boot, basically. Oh dear, okay. So I'll just right. put the towel in for now, but I'm gonna have to look at that all weekend. So what would you like to do next? How about doing the, uh, the chairs? If I tighten them up and then um, bring them in here for you. Give them a wipe. Okay. All right. Warm water. Perfect. And then I'll then I'll prep the back of the kitchen wall. So we took. If you've seen previous vlogs, you'll have seen there were stickers on here with kind of coffee cups. 
so we took those off obviously it's um left that but we want to paint them the same color that we've painted the walls so we're just gonna sand that down and i don't know prep it for painting basically what's going on in here i'm pimping the uh the rental cabinet because we can't find a cabinet new knobs brand new knobs which i've nicked off another cupboard they look good cute i want to kind of cottage cottage style there we go what do you think c'est bon yeah I like that. It's kind of actually the scale of that is, is cute. So in the process of preparing the house for a second coat of paint in the kitchen, we seem to have just destroyed our living area. And we're also going to paint under the stairs. So everything's been emptied out of there. And check out over here. This is like, whoa. This is, this is, this is a crazy place. Anyway, it's all happening. Okay, white mist it is. Let's get some in the little. Quite a few people on the vlog like white mist. Yeah. On the YouTube, yeah. You <laughs> girls out there. Nice. It's a really nice white. But it does look quite grey actually. It's quite when you, when you see it in there. It's yeah, obviously different in different lights, but it's actually mm, a little bit warm, but yeah. with a fresh, fresh, like a cotton. Yes. Yeah. You ready for the transformation? Mm. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. The last of the tobacco over there. The artist approves. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And the overall impression now is it's quite it's quite cold, but when we put our things back in, it all it all kind of like comes together. Go for it with that. Start low today. So satisfied with the second coat. <laughs> Hey, it looks like you painted a little heart around that. Is that because you love me? Yes. Is it? <laughs> Such a pro job. Tell you, baby. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and put the Patreon cafe up and do the sugar soap, the bathroom, yeah? While James does that, let's start in one of the yuckiest rooms in the house, the bathroom. So that's where the cabinet was. I'm just gonna sugar soap all the walls and then we need to paint and put the cabinet back. Change that blind, which truly offends me. And uh, put towel rails back on, etc. And I think it should hopefully transform the room. Are you okay, Mother? Mm -hmm. What's happening? Where, where are we at? Can you see? We're in the details. We're in the, where are we? On the stair. Like Harry Potter? <laughs> in the Harry Potter cupboard. Mm -hmm. Freshen up because we're having coats and things in here, aren't we? Oh yeah, it looks so much better. Nice job. <laughs> Can't see anything, it's just DIY coat. <laughs> I like your light. Mm. Very snazzy. Do you know where that's come from? No. No, no, Big Vic. Oh, no way. Packing Big Vic. Give him the splash back. The second coat. What's the splash? Oh, right, already? Yeah. Because it's not much there, the plaster soaked it in. Hello? <laughs> I'm still detail cleaning the bathroom up there, so... Nearly done. 
nice. Are you happy? Yeah. How many out of ten? Oh, ten out of ten. Holy sh! Yeah, I've cleaned all the walls and all the scary places. So I'm ready to paint. So I'm just going to start with this wall. That corner came up a little bit better. As usual, one needs to be an octopus to put together IKEA stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure I like it. <laughs> How tired are you? I'm alright. How tired are you? Oh, pretty white actually, if I'm honest. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm really ready. Born ready. Do you think the paint's dry enough? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right. right, perfect. To DIY. Thank you very much. <coughs> We did it. We already did that one, so I can cross that one out as well. <laughs> the list. What have we got then? So I kind of cheated in a way because I wrote things twice. So paint the kitchen and understairs cupboard. I've already crossed that off on here, but right. oh, and you've done the letterbox. Yeah. Nice. Did I put let? I didn't put letterbox on here. Kitchen shelf up, and the bin. You put the bin out, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So we've done that. I've cleaned the bathroom, but I haven't done the shower, so I haven't crossed it all out. That's good. Is that it? It's a good effort for today, but I think we're done. Look how tired you look. <laughs> so basically still in the middle of unpacking boxes, but also homeifying everything, making it homely and nesting and comfortable. And we're now getting to the little bits of fun stuff. And it's a real view. It's not, you know, dressed up for the internet or anything like that. That's not what I'm about. So if you've been here a little while, you will know that. So it may not be completely aesthetic yet. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say is that there are areas that look a right mess. I'll try not to wobble you about too much, but basically, where am I at today? James is away, so he's away again at work, and I am trying <laughs> to basically just tidy up the mess that we made at the weekend. And basically, it's a lot of my stuff, because you know what happens when you move? You have the boxes, and you're half unpacked, and this, that, and the other, but also, at the same time, life does actually go on. So I'm not taking, you know, a month off or anything like that to settle in i'm just going with the flow and doing a bit of this and a bit of that so when i am you know going off to the studio for example and things like that there's other areas that you know are normal day to day day-to-day -day mess that are left out basically because things don't have a home yet if you know what i mean and so it's kind of twice the shock of the mess if you like and i'm just trying to can i show you over there there we go it's kind of, yeah, I'm sat in chaos and uh, I just thought I would straighten up first and then check off things on our to-do list that we made together. Yes, that's what I'm planning to do. And some things are working out and some things are not. <laughs> glasses to work out what everything is. I'm just trying to categorise everything and some of the stuff that was in our understairs cupboard at the flat needs to go or now can go in the garage like bike stuff so my bike helmet and stuff and then yeah it just needs sorting out into various categories because we have a, a mix of items llamas from Bolivia etc <laughs> so I'm just trying to work out what's what.
just checking my notes this morning because I haven't got a brain, which is probably completely normal for somebody that's just had a big house move. I thought I might be having a bit of time off YouTube, but it's kind of gone with the flow, if you like, so it's kind of worked. <laughs> so thank you if you're here, if you're stuck around to keep me company through this bit of a bonkers journey at the minute, isn't it, life? It really is about the little things that we can do to brighten up our day. That in turn helps us keep our lights shining bright and then we can shine a little bit brighter out there, can't we? I've kind of just popped into the studio to pick up a couple of plant babies and yeah, water and do all that stuff. So I'm not staying, no. I'm gonna go home and get more sh done, yes. So I've now got some plant babies here and if you've been here a little while you will know I've got plenty of those at the studio and in fact it's good to take some out because it starts to overtake the studio and I don't think there's enough room for me to actually you know make art in there anymore. Looking good I need to frame a couple more pictures I think and what else? I'm kind of ignoring this bit over here <laughs> at the moment and I've kind of done this part of the room so at least I've got one clear space to sit amongst all this hang on a sec yeah amongst all that and it goes beyond into the conservatory as well I haven't finished the kitchen yet either I'm kind of getting there last night I strung up some lights as you can see maybe you're thinking why she hung them up like that well the reason is because i want to wait for james for him to put some like screws or something up there so i can you know raise them higher yeah they need to be lifted but you know for now it's a little bit better than the main light and as we know lighting is everything so i'm just going to frame a couple more pictures i want to put this one up here and again i'm going to wait for james to put these up with me it's those weird plasterboard walls you know and things can very easily go wrong even though i'm very good with the drill i'll have you know i'm just trying to find a little spot in the house that's bright enough to film because it's actually starting to get dark now and that's kind of where i've got to you know in the whole process of it i'm trying to embrace the messy you know the fact that i still haven't unpacked and i say still because i've only just got, got in really i think we've been in almost three weeks so we're doing really well in actual fact i think we need to remember don't we after a big something like for me in this instance the big move we need to show ourselves some compassion give ourselves grace slow down and just allow those pockets of recharging in amongst all the chaotic happenings if you like because you know i want to settle in and i want to unpack everything and i want to get a little home for everything so that it's all away but all in good time all in good time i've kind of been struggling a little bit with my physical health so ment mentally i'm good physical health i've been struggling a little bit so i need to just really show myself a bit of grace and self-care to the max so if you need to do the same you can take that as a little gentle reminder to do that i will if you will i have lots of other ideas for the house and i can share that with you as, it, as the whole process unfolds but as we all know don't we home doesn't just appear in an instant you have to allow for things to show up in your house little special mementos and reminders and things like that that you want to put up and just allow that process to happen organically don't we my biggest joy at the moment is the birds in the garden we've got all the little songbirds Birds that come to you know eat with all the feeders and everything but also at night we've got owls so when I go to sleep I can hear the owls hooting and yeah it fills me with a lot of joy we've kind of moved out of town a little bit and you know more into the countryside so we've got those nature sounds which I love really love you know and I must just say as well happy Thanksgiving to all our American friends in here because it's Thanksgiving weekend it's probably just coming to an end as this video goes up but I just wanted to say that anyway and also that we can all join in with things we're grateful for and things that we're giving thanks for so let's not forget to do that shall we in an ever confusing chaotic world there's always things to be grateful for and I'll give thanks to you because I always say this but I really mean it thank you you so much for keeping me company and watching this video i really hope you can try to keep your lights shining bright as bright as you can anyway and i will see you really really soon in the next one so bye for now bye for now